We started out as Mobile Amp volunteers almost three years ago. After a few months of going on visits, Kelsey mentioned Spa Day, and we couldn't believe our luck that we could come and help take care of the bunnies on the farm, even if it meant scooping poop. One of the interesting things about rabbits is they have pretty strong personalities and make their preferences known clearly, if not always loudly. They tell us that it's challenging to transition to a new place, be in a loud vehicle that shifts and moves unexpectedly, to be touched by many hands, to be in a really warm building for an hour. Well, some of the rabbits have an easier time with all this sensory input, some find it difficult. One of those who finds it difficult is Small. Her full name is Small But Brave, and she has a long list of things that she doesn't like, with people being at the top of that list. When we first started helping at Spa Day, Small would growl deeply and lunge at our hands if we tried to take her from the hutch or remove her from the exercise pen. She did not like to be petted. She did not like to have the other rabbits around. In so many ways, Small was telling us we should leave her alone. We were intimidated. For weeks, we asked Kelsey to pick her up when necessary. But we also knew that as a rabbit, Small needed support and grooming and friendship, even when she wasn't at her best. Maya took her on as a special project, working with her every week to get closer without causing a growl or lunge, to pet her briefly without causing flinching and scampering off, to sit quietly next to her until she would relax enough to begin to groom herself. I'm not gonna lie, it took months of weekly visits for Small to gradually accept that Maya was her friend unconditionally. In the slow pace of Maya's work, she became expert in Small's moods and subtle body language. If Small hopped three inches away, it meant, stop petting me. And if the petting continued, Maya might get lunged at. If Small was being held and started to wiggle just a little, it meant, put me down. And a person might get a bite on the arm if they didn't pay attention to that. Nobody will be surprised to know the secret was to my, Maya's success. Treats. We would bring a piece of carrot, as long as possible, to offer Small in her hutch. Once she was munching on it, we could reach in and scoop her out. In the exercise pen, Maya would find the tastiest bits of grass and put them down in front of her. She would get a bite of apple before being picked up and after being let down. Temple Grandin once said that a brain cannot be both curious and anxious at the same time. The trick is to get the brain to be curious first. Well, she said it a lot better than that, but you know what I mean. As long as Small's brain was curious about the treats, she was less anxious and began tolerating touch and interaction. As long as Maya's brain was curious about Small, she was less anxious and tolerated the world better too. As long as we're curious about the future and what it holds, the worries stay at bay. For a lot of people who are very sensitive and to input and stimuli and they, their bodies and their brains get overwhelmed easily, rabbits, that's, that's what a rabbit is, right? And, um, and they don't transition well, just like a lot of us. And we have difficulties with those things. And so when we can help animals work through some of that, sometimes it can help us reflect on how we can do that for ourselves too or help other people do it. It does take a little while to slow down enough to start noticing that. Then that's part of it too, right? Um, with the horses and the bigger animals, their ears tell a lot, their eyes tell a lot, but they're, they're pretty obvious movements and shifts in body language. But with the small animals, especially some that are more sensitive, like small, if she just moves a little bit away, that means something. But with a bigger animal, it might walk away, or it might, its, its ears might twist or shift in a certain way, and a more obvious sign that something is happening. 